Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ Anon ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions, and it's clobbering time! We finally got CM Punk in WWE Champions, and I couldn't be any more excited. This is absolutely insane. Um, I don't know why they did my boy like this and gave him these giant hands, but he's got them giant Austin Theory hands. They're bigger than his head. And uh, I don't know if this is a cutoff sleeve or a short sleeve t-shirt. I don't know what's going on with the shirt either. But there's some stuff going on with him. But hey, it's CM Punk and uh, I'm here for it. So, he is a trainer. Yellow moves start with two more MP. Green gems do 50% more damage. And um, let's check. I want to check the links. Does he got the Nexus link? Come on. You give every version of John Cena the Nexus Link, but you don't give the man who was the leader of the Nexus the Nexus Link. Come on, bro. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He's got a raw link in a modern era. We're going to need to see that Straight Edge Society link with Luke Gallows, too. Um, come on. Let's see it. Anyways. I'm going to get into this first move set. I'm going to preface this by saying I'm excited on this and I'm blind reacting. I have not practiced this at all. Uh, we're going to do everything one take tonight. So um, we're going to run double purple with the GTS. It's just literally the first thing I looked at. So you know I love hitting a sub on turn one. We're going to do 326 for three turns. Remaining sub gems turn into multiply gems. I don't know the strength. It doesn't say. We'll find out in the match. Uh, pile driver will increase our green mp by nine that'll get the finisher charge gts deal 1.7 million damage increase the strength of your multiply gems by four then destroy 30 random multiply gems okay so uh we're just we're going no skill plate here i mean you could use um the queen's tiara you could use the nightmare insignia anything that's going to increase a certain color but you're not turning multiply gems to a color you're just destroying them all so I'd probably be leaning more defensive here, like escape artist, um, defense the the defensive ones here, the uh, anything. What what are um, what the heck are these called? Defensive stance. That's what I was looking for. Okay, on the entourage, we're going woods for four purple MP. We're going with nation of, of domination rock, and I know he's rare. If you don't have him for feud for whatever you're going to need to just run anybody who's going to give you another two purple mp we're looking to hit purple on turn one uh we need woods for four we need two more from someone else so i chose him because yeah, i have him on this account to use um and that gives me my two purple it'll also increase our multiply gem strength by one and then i'm using uh, mem rock for another multiply gem strength as a coach and i'm going to use zombie gunther for 60 percent multiply gem damage if i didn't have this uh rock here i mean literally anyone i think i think striker vince gives you two purple um like farouk striker maybe like there's a ton of people that give you two purple mp i'm sure you have one on your roster um this is how i'm gonna run it i don't know exactly what the multiply gem strengths are yet like i said so we'll find out now we got plus two added to it one for our trainer one for our coach so All right, he must have 99 MP, not really sure, but we would typically need to hit the pile driver first to get that green MP loaded. And then we're gonna need to hit the Anaconda device. Oh, of course he's gonna hit wild cards all over me and just take way too many of my gems off the board. Okay, times nine, which means they were times seven baseline um here's what stinks here none of them are on purple right now so there is this opportunity for this move set to whiff now this is a six star bronze now they go up four they go up to 13s and that was an eight million shot right there an eight million shot after the sub with no purple gems down there so would not have got the recycle but i mean eight million is pretty decent for a um a six star bronze so i ain't mad at that move set at all and you can buff that out even more um if you want to put some skill plates on there you can definitely make that more worthwhile you can use mp skill plates if you're worried about getting back to the purple there whatever you will but um yeah i'm gonna get out here we get another move set 
Okay, move set number two here. I got triple green going. And you know I love to run me a Sheik plate. So we're going to take advantage of that GTS 1.7 million baseline damage here. But we are going to use a running swinging neck breaker to do a 4x1 area into snowfall, which will modify all multiply gems uh, strength 6 below it when it's broken by you. Then we make snowfall into green. That's going to help us recycle for this. And then uh, we're going to hit the GTS, increase the strength of our multiply gems by 4. So that's going to turn those into 10. And then destroy 30 of them. So... Again, we got to get to 6 MP here, so we're going 2 from Bailey, plus 100% green move damage, 4 from Steel, so that's our 6 MP, uh, plus, like I said, 100%. And then we got 40% green move damage and 50% green finisher damage. But, Nighthard wasn't showing on this screen, so I'll be interested to see if it's going to work in the match. Um, I got a 50% move damage strap, double takedown 2. And the scimitars of the Sheik skill plate. So whenever we activate a green move, increase a green move damage by 100%. This is going to be absolutely bonkers, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be bonkers. I can already feel it. And if you don't have any of this move damage stuff, just fury him out and worry about the multiply gem damage. Because you could do a shitload of multiply gem damage here too, I'm sure. I don't know what's going to be more. Um, yeah, see, so... So, uh, Anvil was affecting this probably. We're at 9.7 million. Uh, that's like 10 million without even hitting the Sheik plate here. So, uh, this is going to be ridiculous. Four by one into Snowfall. Okay. Four Snowfall into Green. Now, what is this at? 11 million. The GTS is at 11 million. Let's hit Welcome to Chicago. Oof. Welcome to Chicago, son. Okay. And now the GTS is worth 13.2 million damage and increase the strength of these multiply gems by four and then destroy 30 of them. OMG. Pow! Oof. Bro, was that like 45? I don't even know. I don't even know what that was. It was like 13 mil plus... I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. Can we run that back fast? Dude, is it even going to show me? I don't know. I suppose you could probably just like rewind and pause the video, but I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna have to do a quick run back because this is probably going to be my favorite moveset. It looked like the number was too small. It looked like to me like it said like 450,000, but I'm like, that wouldn't make any sense. So, I'm going to need to, uh, we're going to need to run it back. Okay, again, we know it's 9.7 there. We're okay. We're absolutely golden. We're going to go a little faster this time with it. Of course. Of course we cascaded. That's all right. That's all right. Let's go another turn here and let's see what we can do. It might cascade. No problem. For us, it just means we're still at 13 mil. We're going to increase that move damage even more. That's what we're going to do. So let's do one of these. Dang, you say 15. Welcome to Chicago here, hitting for 2 mil. Okay, uh, sixteen million eight hundred and five thousand damage. Increase the strength of our multiplied gems by four. That's it. I gotta get my camera here. We're gonna we're gonna run the tape on this. We're gonna run the tape on this. All right, we're recording. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready for the instant replay this time. Okay, we'll see what it says. I know that's like 16 mil plus whatever this says. Five point seven mil. Uh, it was five point seven mil. Five million seven hundred forty-four thousand nine hundred and ninety-eight. There's a little trick there if you want to run that back. Just record the cascade with your phone, and then you can just freeze frame it on what the damage was. But. Um, so if we take that 16 mil plus that, that was 21 million damage there. This is a six-star bronze. This is not a silver. 
This is not a silver, ladies and gentlemen. We got one more move set. I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I saved the most insane build for last. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. This one is absolutely insane. Triple blue. We got the calf kick three charge. Uh, we're going to choose seven green. We got the roundhouse kick three charge. We're going to choose seven blue. Then we got the diving elbow drop. We are going to deal 1.5 million damage plus uh, 253,000 bonus damage for every green gem and pin the opponent. So um, I actually almost feel like I had done too much here. So I'm actually going to take Ray off. And we're actually going to, we can do more damage here. And everything that I'm showing is not absolutely necessary for this build to absolutely be insane. Um, we're obviously going to optimize it here, but I just want you to know that there is a lot you could do with this build. I'm going to put China on 20% for blue and for green. That's going to be just fine here. Um, we honestly could go move damage here, but I want to show you something, so... We only need to get to three MP. So we only need a two blue MP trainer. That's it. So we got Pat Patterson for that. And he's also going to give us 100% blue move damage. Then we're just going green gem damage, no matter what we can do here. So Raquel, 50%. We got Zombie Becky, 30%. Hall of Fame China, 20%. Literally, use your 20% greens here. Use anybody for percent. Use a 15%. Whatever. It's better than the 12K flat. Or... Use blue move damage if you can do that. That'll work for this move set too. Same thing here. Use your percent green gem damage trainers. Whatever you can do, you need two blue MP. Um, that's basically what you need. Now, I also got some more bells and whistles, obviously. I've got a 100% gem damage strap, double fury too. Fury this, trust me, uh, it's going to affect that bonus damage on your gems. Uh, Honky Tonks Blues, whenever you break three or more green gems, get three blue MP. Um, that's actually a little bit helpful, and I'll probably be able to explain it better in the match why. You don't necessarily need it because you got the blue move to refill all the blue, but sometimes the board gets a little hard to look at when you're trying not to match any greens, and if you accidentally break three green, it would just refill the move for you, and you'd be good to go, so... Um, we also have the hard stop. I think it's called the hard stopper. Yeah, whenever you activate a blue move, increase blue gem damage by 50% for a turn. It's not even really doing much here. Again, that's, uh, it's more, if he pins me back, like if they kicked out and pinned me, my first swipe would be hard stoppered up. But we're not even cascading blue, so that's not important either. You could go no skill plates on this move set. You could use literally no skill plates and it's still gonna slap. All right, so the first thing I want to do is choose seven green. And I'm going to start from the bottom of the board and work my way up. I'm going to go two, skip one, two, skip one. I'm going to work my way up with two and then right over to there. Uh, we have no three matches, okay? We want as many on the board as possible. Now, I'm just going to choose three blue with this. That's all I need to do. Now, remember, my blue gem damage is buffing up every time I hit a blue move. But, again... It's not really the name of the game here. So we want to get greens down again. I can't put one here or here. So I can put one there. And then I can go up to here and I can go here. Got to skip that. I can go to there and to there. And to there. And to there. Okay, we're still going strong. Let's use this one again. Like I said, I haven't had to use a skill plate yet for anything. The skill plate's making this little three break worth more. Okay, that was worth 100k more that time. I won't lie. Um, let's go seven green again. So we can go here. We can go here. Got to skip this one. We can go there. We can go there. Got to skip. We can go here. Got to skip here. And let's just go up to that corner. Now it's getting harder to see. Now is when you might get like one of those whoopsies. <laughs> we don't want a whoopsies, but sometimes they happen. Let's do three blue one more time. And then, now mind you, my finisher's 5.8 million baseline damage. Now, now, we can't afford to break anything here. We've got our big, big finish set up. And we can put one there. We You can't match three green here. It'll screw everything up. So if that's skipped, we can go there. I think that's it. I think that's all I can do. 
I'm not chancing anything else. Let's just do that. Okay. Now, the problem is you can't really see the damage. So what I can tell you is we're doing 5,837,000 damage plus 990,000 damage. That's like a million damage per every green gem. So we're going to get a calculator out here. And we're going to do the math. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 green gems times 990,222 equals 27 million day plus. 5,837,432 equals 33.5 million damage, ladies and gentlemen. That'll be 33 million damage, please. That'll be 33 and a half mil, please. And that's only five-star bronze. Imagine what this man's going to do at silver, and imagine what he'll do at six-star gold one day. That's how we do it in Chicago, though. I don't know how else to tell you. Damn, it's nice to see Punk in the game. Till next time, y'all. Peace.